I know what that means. Merlin trial. Not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. I'd be terribly grateful if you could help me and my friend with a time-sensitive delivery. You sound as if you could use some help. Oh yes, I could. Eddie Thistlewood's the name. A dear friend of mine in Feldcroft is at his wit's end due to the relentless attacks on his hamlet by Ranrock and his loyalists. I sent two crates of Chinese chomping cabbages to help, but they've gone missing. Good idea. Those cabbages are nothing to be trifled with. My thoughts precisely. You see, I know plants, and I believe the goblins will be so irritated by the onslaught of ferocious vegetation They'll simply leave Feldcroft alone. I wonder if you might track the two crates down and deliver their contents to my friend Bernard Indiaye. I simply can't leave my shop at present. Why would the goblins target Feldcroft? My friend Bernard says they've been seen in the area for a while. He seems to think they're looking for something. But lately, they've become more aggressive. Could you not grow or buy more Chinese chomping cabbages? I suppose I could, but that would take time. Time we do not have, what with Ranrock's thugs posing new threats every day. Besides, it's the principle of the matter. I grew those cabbages, and they are extraordinary. Any idea where I might find the crates? Yes. From what I hear, one was spotted south of Feldcroft. The other, so I hear, is south of Brockborough, near the river. Very well, sir. I shall keep an eye out for two crates of Chinese chomping cabbages. Oh, thank you. I shall let Bernard know he might be receiving those cabbages after all. I should be going now. Thank you. I'm convinced that Feldcroft will be much safer with Chinese chomping cabbages defending them. Sounds like Feldcroft's in trouble. Perhaps I should try to help. Mr. Thistlewood. What was it you needed my help with? Crates of cabbages? I wonder if you might track the two crates down and deliver their... Very well. Oh. What do you have for sale? Now, how can I help? Thank you. I hope to see you again soon. It's like a place right out of a storybook. What are you up to now? Oh, be strong, Alexandra. Is everything all right? If the Hamlet sent you here to talk to me about... about... I know what I have to do. It's not every day a girl has to put down her own troll. I should be allowed to work up to it. What do you mean, your own troll? I thought that's why you were here. I'm sorry. Uh, I suppose if you spend enough time with trolls, you forget your manners. I'm Alexandra. I didn't mean to be short with you. With Ranrock's lot seemingly everywhere, I thought the Hamlet could use a bit more security. <sighs> but my plan has gone awry. I apologised when he almost trampled half the Hamlet yesterday. <sighs> he just needs more time. But everyone wants him gone. They think it's mad, my training a troll. Impossible, even. I'm inclined to agree with them. Trolls are dangerous creatures. I know. I know. But I had to try. <sighs> I suppose I understand why everyone's been so concerned. <sighs> what made me think I could train him? I should have learned from Barnabas the Barmy. But he's my troll and my problem. I'll be honest. I'm afraid I won't be able to take care of him. He's stronger than any troll I've ever encountered. <sighs> I wish I knew someone else who could do it. What exactly were you training the troll to do? I was hoping to train him to serve as protection for us. Frankly, I struggled to teach him even a word or two. Couldn't give him even a semblance of self-control. Who's Barnabas the Balmy? Surely you've seen the tapestry of him at Hogwarts. 
It hangs in the seventh floor corridor. He allegedly tried to train trolls for the ballet. You can imagine how that turned out. I'm not thrilled at the prospect, but I'll consider it. Oh, no. I didn't mean to suggest that you should do it. In fact, you should avoid the area just southwest of here. At least until I work up the courage to do what needs to be done. A troll on the loose near a hamlet. That could be devastating. I wonder if I'm safe to explore in there. Well, my feet didn't turn into beats. That's a good start. Revelio. Should have known a herbologist would use Devil's Snare. Duke certainly left behind more than plants. Well, Marmaduke certainly left behind more than plants. Oh, 
Don't bother. Lumos. A sarcophagus. This must be Marmaduke. Should reverse the curse, hopefully. Samantha will be glad to hear that the crest has been returned. I certainly hope it reverses the curse. Off on another adventure, are we? I'm happy to tell you that I returned the crest to Marmaduke's sarcophagus just as you asked. I thought as much. I received word from St. Mungo's that my brother's feet are back to normal. No more beats. Oh, I cannot thank you enough. It wasn't too much trouble, I hope. Well, there was a troll in the tomb. A troll? Oh dear, I'm so sorry. That's awful. No one has been in that tomb for centuries. But I can't say I'm surprised. Marmaduke seems to have been full of surprises. Indeed he was. Well, I suppose I should be going. I'm anxious to see my brother, who must be elated to have his feet back. Of course. I certainly would be. William and I are forever in your debt. Thank you again for what you did. Wonder who lives here. Go! 
past the high wing. That crate of Chinese chomping cabbages is somewhere in this camp. A beast, or it can be you. I prefer the latter. Hmm. Now, see, fog can be your friend. Revelio. You have to be a friend to fog. Now, where did I set my traps? Was it Lower Hogsfield or Upper Hogsfield? <laughs> that cat can't bring out. For what you've done to helpless beasts. Revelio. Alohomora. No need to be difficult. I mean you no harm. Perhaps I'll scout around Felcroft for something to poach. That's one crate in hand. I only need one more. Trying to help. I'll look after you. Seems a pleasant enough little place.
Enjoy suffering, do you? I can see why Feldcroft needs help. Ranrock's loyalists are hiding out near Feldcroft. They must have the other crate of Chinese chomping cabbages. Hello? Who's there? All the crates of Chinese chomping cabbages. I'd better go and see Mr. Thistlewood's friend in Feldcroft. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. fed them yet. Well, what say we show you some of what's available? Oh, I'm always thrilled when a young one makes a wise purchase. I can tell you'll go far. Not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. Uh. 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 Hello there. Do you have the special delivery from my dear friend, Eddie? Hello, Mr. Ndi. Eddie Thistlewood sent me. Yes, he told me to expect you. Do you have the Chinese chomping cabbages? I have them right here. Oh, it doesn't appear that you do. How unfortunate. I do think Eddie's idea has merit. I'm not sure how many more attacks Felcroft can survive. I'll return with the cabbages as soon as I can. Does 
it get any more cosy than Hogsmeade? Come on in. Oh, not so fast. You need to tread carefully in here. <gasps> Venomous tentacula. Good for you. Gain all those. Oh, I'm always thrilled when a young one makes a wise purchase. I can tell you'll go far. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Hello there. Do you have the special delivery from my... Hello again, Mr. Undi. Glad to see you back. Do you have the chomping cabbages? I have them right here. Marvellous. This will go a long way towards protecting the hamlet from Ranrock's loyalists. The same foul curs who, I'm willing to guess intercepted them in the first place, along with Rookwood's lot. Feldcroft owes a debt of gratitude to you and Eddie. Thank you for your help. Do you have any idea why the goblins are attacking Feldcroft? No clue. I used to think it was because of its strategic location, but now it's as if they were looking for something. I will admit, however, that I don't know what they could possibly be looking for. How do you and Eddie know each other? We met at Hogwarts. Been friends and business associates ever since. I wasn't surprised to get his owl about his Chinese chomping cabbage scheme. He was always one to go out of his way to help another. You're welcome. Happy to be of assistance. At last, some reinforcements. Hopefully this is enough to thwart the goblins. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. I take it you're Alexandra's friend.
Levioso, place it. Saved from that troll. Wonder who. I hope you avoided my troll. It's done, Alexandra. I took care of him. My troll? What? Oh, I don't know what to say. Thank you. I wish things could have turned out differently for him. Any plan you had to train that thing was doomed. He tried to kill me the entire time. Goodness. I'm glad you're all right. You're very brave. People in the hamlet had already crafted a moniker for whoever eventually defeated my... I mean, that troll. It was troll something or other. Slayer? Yes, that was it. I suppose it's your title now. I need some time on my own, but truly, thank you for what you did. The Troll Slayer. Has a nice ring to it.
Mysterious and a bit unsettling. What to do? Revelio. 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 That's it. I should tell Madam Twiddle about what happened. Looked rather dark in there. Never stopped me before. Mrs. Twiddle, your husband was right. The statue was part of a puzzle. Oh, really? How exciting! Yes, I had to destroy a number of large vases and that seemed to activate some sort of charm on the statue. I miss having someone like you around with a thirst for knowledge and a quick mind. Well, my curiosity has been satisfied. Thank you for that. Who knows what I'll encounter on my next constitutional. Oh, my husband would be so pleased to know he was right about that statue. Uh. Uh. Pile of if one more person asked me about her... Revelio. Mr. Haggerty, can you remind me what we spoke about? I told you about my thieving sister, Catherine. Ran off with a family heirloom and goodness knows what else from our neighbours. I should be going now. Thank you. Absolutely shameless. Rebellion. More gold. I must be getting closer. Wouldn't mind a plum job at Gringotts. Suit me, sitting around all day. Mind you, I suppose it could get more. <laughs> Bombarder! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> 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 
Ranrock has fooled you all to your demise. Revelio. if I'm not careful. Rebellion. Rebellion. Let's see what's up your sleeve this time, Merlin. Rebellion. A <laughs> Niffler. It wasn't Captain Haggerty after all. Rebellion. family heirloom. I wonder how Mr. Haggerty will take this news. His sister wasn't the thief and his heirloom's coming home.
What are you up to now? Must have snuck in after I fell asleep. I have some good news, Mr. Haggerty. I unmasked your thief. Nothing to unmask, was there? We all know that the thief was my sister, Catherine. Actually, sir, the thief was a Niffler. A, a, a what? You know, small, furry, pilfering. I followed it to its lair. Catelyn was the only one who knew how to get into our homes, where to find our treasures. But I suppose... mangy little blighter. Well, if you found the Niffler's lair, as you say, you must have found my heirloom. As a matter of fact, I did. Thank you. You don't know how much this means to me. Catherine's a disappointment for certain, but I never wanted to believe she was behind this. Now, thanks to you, I won't have to. What a strange world we live in. Suppose they can't send a Niffler to Azkaban. At least I got my heirloom back. Imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. Are you in some sort of trouble? Nearly attacked by wolves, I was. Only just escaped with my life. I need to be better prepared next time. Could use some thunder brew. I don't suppose a student like yourself would be in possession of such a thing? Yes, I have some right here. Please take it and be careful. Oh, thank you, thank you. I knew you had a good heart. I feel better already just knowing I have some thunder brew on hand. Please take this as thanks for your generosity. I thought my owl might pique your interest. <laughs> 